Dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear partners, it is a pleasure for me to uh, be presented here and to express uh, some uh, thoughts and um, some of the positions uh, which is uh, important uh, for the Bulgarian Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, concerning the energy market. Energy market uh, is uh, very uh, dynamic uh, during the uh, last year and uh, this is one of the main uh, topics concerning our discussions with uh, the government uh, and uh, also between uh, as a uh, national representative employers organization. And um, as a employers organization, we created uh, a lot of uh, statements and uh, presented these statements in front of the government and also in front of the national parliament. The key issue, uh, according to Bulgaria Chamber of Commerce and Industry, concerning the energy market and especially the electricity, uh, electricity prices at that moment, is to keep uh, this uh, compensation uh, mechanism uh, till the end of uh, uh, this year. Uh, of course, there is a discussion that uh, it's possible uh, this mechanism to be uh, kept uh, till the, the middle of uh, the year because there is a special European uh, regulation. Um, but uh, we think that um, uh, the government and the parliament uh, uh, should find the way to keep the mechanism uh, uh, in function till the end of this year because um, for um, every company um, uh, is important to have a perspective, not only a short term for one, two, three months, but also uh, for a middle term uh, perspective, because it's not possible to, to run and uh, to manage a business uh, without um, uh, information uh, for the future electricity prices. Unfortunately, if you see the situation in our um, uh, energy uh, exchange, uh, you can see that uh, more than 80% of the market uh, consists uh, uh, in um, the deals uh, a day uh, forward. And uh, especially in the uh, energy intensive uh, uh, sector, um, normally, uh, the majority of the companies uh, should have uh, long-term contracts, but uh, unfortunately in Bulgaria this is not the case. And we expect uh, from our government uh, to uh, make some changes in this uh, independent uh, uh, electricity exchange to, to uh, encourage uh, companies uh, to start uh, signing such uh, contracts especially in the field of uh, electricity intensive uh, industry. Uh, Bulgaria compared with uh, the other countries, not uh, only in the European Union, but also in the region, we have um, a very big uh, competitive advantage because um, in Bulgaria we have uh, very big state-owned electricity companies and also we are net exporter of electricity uh, in some days, in some days, um, we export uh, about 40% of the electricity production, which is um, a huge uh, uh, figure. And uh, because of this advantage, um, uh, we create uh, this uh, mechanism. Uh, the, inc the dividend income from the state-owned uh, companies, uh, this money uh, goes to the a special um, uh, electricity fund and uh, from this fund uh, the money goes uh, and to cover this um, uh, me mechanism for uh, compensation. Of course there is a decision of our parliament that this compensation mechanism should exist uh, till the end of this year but uh, there is one condition. Uh, the government uh, should uh, prove a special program and unfortunately, our government uh, uh, adopted such uh, programs, maybe one or per uh, uh, two months. And uh, this uh, uh, future perspective, uh, which uh, were the core idea of this uh, one year uh, mechanism, now um, uh, we cannot reach uh, uh, this um, successful goals uh, concerning the perspective. 
but uh, this is the situation uh, uh, on the market. If you see the prices uh, in uh, August uh, 2022, the prices uh, reach uh, more than uh, 1,800 uh, leva for uh, megawatt per hour, which is which was a very uh, high price in uh, the Bulgarian market. But now the situation is uh, uh, changing. For the January uh, 2023, the price uh, was uh, 300 uh, leva for megawatt per hour. For uh, February is uh, 273 leva. For April is 2000, uh, two, uh, sorry, 212 leva. And now we are thinking that uh, for April 2023, we can uh, reach uh, 199 leva. Uh, and the me mechanism uh, will um, uh, be only as a uh, good uh, insurance not to be put into force because the price will be uh, less than um, 200 leva for megawatt per hour. So this is very important for us as an uh, employer's organization this mechanism to be uh, keep uh, into force till the end of this uh, year. Concerning the gas prices, uh, there are also uh, uh, a big discussion among us and also with uh, uh, the government uh, because uh, we want uh, to be created such mechanism uh, also for gas prices. Unfortunately, this is not the case. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, the gas consumption in Bulgaria, but not only in Bulgaria, but in many European countries, uh, decreased um, uh, in the last year. Uh, the, uh, in, in, in some uh, countries, you can see that uh, the consumption decreases more than uh, 55 uh, percent, which is uh, too high. In Bulgaria, it's also the same situation, of course, with uh, not uh, such high uh, figures. But maybe uh, one mechanism uh, for uh, the gas prices uh, will uh, give the companies this uh, motivation to invest uh, in um, gas installations uh, because uh, at that moment, uh, this is not the situation in our country. We also uh, issued a statement against the gas prices before a month. Uh, I mean, uh, this statement uh, uh, came from the Association of Bulgarian Employers Organization. Uh, Bulgaria Chamber of Commerce and Industry is a part of this uh, uh, organization. And uh, for this year, uh, we are uh, rotating president uh, uh, of this uh, organization. Our statement was uh, against the prices uh, which were with uh, more than 30% higher than the uh, prices in uh, TTF in uh, Netherlands. And uh, because of uh, this uh, statement and opposition um, from uh, employers' organization, uh, you can see we had some discussions uh, with uh, the state and with uh, the government and uh, we can see now that uh, the prices for uh, May 2023 uh, are compared with the um, uh, prices in uh, TTF. So uh, this is a good news, but um, unfortunately at that moment we cannot see the stability in the prices concerning electricity and uh, gas supply. So uh, we expect uh, from the government uh, to keep this compensation mechanism and uh, to create uh, such mechanism for um, gas prices. I think that uh, this uh, uh, may be the, one of the most important keynotes and I expect in uh, the discussion to see uh, other comments or other important topics. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Todorov, for your presentation and for the ideas you shared with us. Please stay uh, just a, a couple of minutes uh, with us. If there are any questions or comments, please use this opportunity. I have one or two questions. I, I'll start with one uh, related to the gas price. I am not sure 
that I understand uh, that I understood what is the relationship you uh, presented between the gas price and the investment in installations in industry. Is the uh, high gas, gas price an incentive to invest or I don't know exactly what you have in mind. The problem is with uncertainty. So uh, uh, maybe for a decade, uh, the official uh, policy was, and because of the uh, lower prices, for example, January 2021, the price in Bulgaria, the gas price was uh, 21 leva uh, for megawatt uh, per hour. Now you can see uh, this is uh, for uh, maybe four or three times uh, higher. And uh, in uh, August and uh, or September 2022, the prices reach uh, 353 leva. So this uncertainty uh, uh, concerning the, the prices uh, is not a good motivation for companies to, to invest in such uh, installations. Uh, and you know, there okay, were a, a discussion. An installation using gas as a yes, resource. Yes, yes. Oh, I understand, okay. Uh, and uh, another question was, uh, how do you, how did the business, uh, industrial uh, segment in Bulgaria, cope with this uh, compensation scheme. I suppose that for most of them, having a cap price for electricity was a good thing. At the same time, for the energy sector, for investments in renewables, for example, uh, were they affected? Were uh, projects delayed because of these situations or not? No, there is not a problem with the renewable energy sources and the investment is in this uh, sector because uh, uh, these uh, big uh, profits that uh, this uh, company, especially in the private sector, Bulgaria uh, didn't adopt uh, legislation uh, uh, to increase uh, the taxes mm -hmm. on these uh, big profits compared with the other countries. So the motivations uh, now exist in that moment in Bulgaria. So mm -hmm. the companies um, invest in such projects, for example. Now there are uh, 30,000 megawatts, uh, new projects, which uh, apply to be, um, uh, to, to receive mm -hmm. approval uh, to, to, to start. I see, I see. Okay, thank you. If no question or comments, that would be all, Mr. Todorov. Thank you very much.